In this screencast, we're going to talk about the concept of specificity, which to me means the order of importance for each CSS style rule. There may be times when you have two different style sheets set up for one element. You have a color style set up in the body element, but you also have a class that has a different color style set up. Which color will win out and show on the browser is the concept of specificity. I remember when I first started, this was one of the topics that I skipped because it was too boring. So I'm going to try to keep it very simple for you. For people who just started out using CSS, you can just remember this. Inline styles has more weight than ID, which has more weight than class which would have more weight than HTML styles. And remember the color orange, red, purple, blue. And I'm going to show you why these colors show up the way it is. Let's look at the source of this page. It's a HTML page. I have a few styles set up. Body, I set the font size bigger. For all the span tags within this page, I set the color to blue. For any class, uh, the purple class has color purple. The ID red has color set to red. Now, and let's look at this inline span. This is the inline text on the browser. I have a few greater signs. Those are wrapped in strong tags. And this is the ID span. This is the class span. This is the HTML. Let's look at the inline text first. I have ID set to red, which sets the color of the inline text to red. I also have a color purple that sets this inline text to purple. And then I have a style, inline style, that sets colors to orange. Because inline styles has greater weight or more importance than class ID or span style settings, orange would show through for this text. Let's look at ID. If I take out this inline style and just leave the class purple, ID red, red would show up for ID because within this span tag setting, ID is the most important setting. Now let's look at the class text. I took out the ID red, so what it's left is class purple. And class purple, class is more important than the span setting, so it doesn't show blue, it shows purple instead. Now if I take everything out and just leave the span tag because I set the span to color blue the text within the span tag would be blue and that's why you see blue letters for HTML. Let me go back and show you again. Orange inline, red ID, purple class, blue HTML. This is the most simple way to explain this, and it works majority of the time until you have clashing classes uh, or overlapping uh, settings. So before I end the screencast, I have a few notes that I want to share with you. As you know, you can actually use an ID throughout the page multiple times like this ID equals red ID equals red but if I run this through the W3C validation it will not pass even if I have just a loose doc type setting and this is because ID was meant to be unique throughout the entire web page and it's meant to be used as an identifier 
to a certain HTML element. So a scripting language like JavaScript can find this unique place, this unique tag in your HTML document and do some dynamic stuff, uh, dynamic stuff with it. So my take is use class most of the time to set your CSS style. Only use IDs when you know the HTML element should have a unique identifier and will need more specificity. Also, don't overuse ID until you accidentally create duplicate IDs without noticing it. And that's it for this screencast. Thank you.